You know, as a busy mom, I'm always looking for ways to come up with meals that offer the whole family something delicious and perfect for the occasion. And I'm sure I am not alone in this search. Today, we've got shortcuts to homemade soups, and I mean fast and delicious. With me this morning, celebrity chef and author Sarah Moulton. Welcome back. Hey, Christy. Thank you. I got to tell you, when it comes to soups, when I was a little girl, my mom used to make chicken soup a lot, but she used to serve me this tiny little bowl. That's silly. I know. Soup for supper. Soup for supper, yes. You can yes. throw everything in there. It's so affordable. Why not? And my kids love it. Yes. And that's why I actually spend time in the kitchen. My best friend, she's different. She'll get the canned soup. Oh, no, 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 no. That's got all that added sodium and all those mm. other preservatives. Ew. Exactly. Yeah. Ew. And then I use my crock pot. But I got to be honest, Sarah. It takes hours, <sighs> hours and hours. Okay. Well, so there's a, this time. new solution. Here. There's a happy medium. There is a happy medium. And tell me what it is because okay. I see these scrumptious soups and I'm like, wow, this looks difficult. Yes, right. Well, we've got four examples right here. Okay. Okay. Um, this is from this company. There we go. And Frontier Soups. Yes, and I just want to show the package because what happens is everything comes in the package. This is the flavor base. You just add some <gasps> fresh ingredients to it. So here we have a chicken tortilla soup, which I'm going to make really quickly in just a minute. Okay. We have Cincinnati chili. So you, to the mm -hmm. base, you mm -hmm. add ground sirloin, barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, and you simmer it. Guess how long? An hour? 35 minutes and it's ready and it's authentic. They're all authentic. This company was developed by a woman who was a caterer and a co cooking teacher. She knows her stuff. So what's in here? Unsweetened chocolate and cinnamon makes it real. Okay, this is a prairie corn chowder. Again, you just add a few simple ingredients, potatoes, chicken broth, cream to the base. Delicious and even better the next day. This looks like my Italian wedding soup. You know what? How long does your Italian wedding soup take you to make? More than six hours. How long does this take? One hour. Oh there we go. Gosh. These are hearty meals, both of these here. This is lentil sausage. Mm. And to this, you add to the base some sausage, some tomatoes, some zucchini, and a little bit of red wine for a party. The hearty meals serve 6 to 12. The uh, minute meals serve 4 to 5. Okay, so I find this hard to believe. You're telling me you just use this package from Frontier yes, Soups. Yes, come down here and I'm going to make one. And then add some ingredients. I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to show you. That's so it? This is, this is the tortilla soup. We're taking chicken broth and water. And you could use the low-sodium chicken broth to control the, control the salt. And you bring this up to a boil. And after it comes to a boil, you add the package. And this has dried corn and beans and... Um, peppers and all sorts of things, spices, including episodi, which is, again, very authentic. Very spicy. Two Love cups that. of cooked chicken. It could be rotisserie chicken. It could be some chicken left over from the day before. Some salsa. It could be any kind you like. It could be the fresh or the bottled. And then you put a lid on, and 25 minutes later, you have the soup here. You can just add the chips. What's great about it is this is perfect for the beginner because you can follow the instructions exactly. You have a wonderful soup. Or you can embellish and add shrimp instead of chicken or tofu if you're a vegetarian. I, I have it. two uh, samples down there of the, uh, you can try either the chili or the lentil soup and see how you like it. And you know the other thing is they're very healthy because they're mostly based on beans and whole grains. They're high in fiber as we mentioned. There's no additives, there's no salt, uh, they're natural. What this do you think? So good. What do you think? You know what I love also? My kids would eat this and they're getting beans. They're getting the vegetables they don't want to get. They Right. You and, know? And they're so, you know what? It's very affordable. And it's um, just an easy thing to do. Grow one. Yes, really They're easy. affordable and they're easy and they're good. Yes, there you go. All of above. Yay. I love it. I yes. think I'm going to keep on with the chili. Okay. You be Go careful. On. Don't be with me tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. All right. Go to FrontierSoups.com. That's FrontierSoups.com to see the wide selection of soup mixes. I mean, they've got 33. You can order online or visit Whole Foods, the Fresh Market, and other natural and specialty food stores. Go for the chili. It rocks. Mm.